Hello everybody and welcome back to Hi Jello's channel. It's been a long delay, but today we're gonna be playing Tony Hawk Skateboarding, also known as Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1. And back in May I was gonna play this game in hype for Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5. But then I had a lot of technical difficulties and eventually we would all find out that Tony Hawk 5 looks like garbage. But uh without further ado, uh we we're gonna have a video out since like uh, like April or something. That's fantastic. And I'm gonna be doing this whole game in like just one video because you know I kind of think it deserves that because all of my technical difficulties. I don't know. Probably say like what the uh, what's been happening since I uh, got this video out. So uh, first of all, summer break happened, and I had to look for a job because I'm 17, and you know, kind of have to help the economy and get money for college. But I'm not in college yet. I just need money to start. Gosh darn. Um, And so that literally was about the first three weeks of my summer, and then I don't know. It was it was pretty nice though. I got I did get a job, so I'm putting bacon on the table, not literally, but bacon is awesome. So. Uh, Let's talk about Tony Hawk right now. Okay. Yeah, I've been really rusty at this. I've also recorded this. This is my fourth time now. So I should be a pro at this game at this point. But uh, it's been about three weeks since my last recording. So that's certainly a thing again. Trying to figure out the super trick. Okay, I think it's like up right and then right on the C, but regardless, uh, so there's five tapes in these levels, so there's about, I think there's nine levels in the game, six have tapes in them, and three are tournaments. And so, the, I'll explain the five tapes. Uh, so there's just a random hidden tape in the level, and they usually show a picture of kind of where it is. And that's pretty helpful. Then there's also a tape where you have to collect the five letters of the word skate. And another collecting thing, or actually have to do, is there are five items throughout the map that you've ever had. That you either have to run into, uh, like grind or something like something of the like. So I'm just gonna be doing the three that I just mentioned, and then the other two are the high score and pro score tapes. High score is generally easy. Pro score is uh, you know it's the higher score that you have to get in the in the two minute time limit that they give you. Alright, so, uh, now back to those technical difficulties, uh, I would have to say the most frustrating one was trying to find codecs for my laptop, and, like, normally codecs would be easy to download, I, I, I would assume, but then, uh, the, the computer I used, the Wi-Fi stopped working on it, even if we had Wi-Fi in the house, it just wouldn't connect to it. And so we had to get that fixed, and that took like two weeks. And it was just a big jumble of meh. I don't know. Okay, and I just finished three that I said I would, but I'll try and get a score tape. We got four of the tapes in this one run, 
and there's only you know, like one left to get here, and it's the pro score, and that should be pretty easy considering this is one of the first levels. And towards the very end, there, like the levels are a lot harder, but they're a lot more difficult. The correct way. But apparently, uh, like during my third recording of this, I found something out. Now if I could just do the special trick. not land the trick either, but I still have a minute to try and get the special bar up and do the tricks. To do the thing. Oh yeah, also, I'm, you, you probably have already figured this out, that I'm not using the actual music in the game. And that's because it's all like copyrighted and, and whatnot. So as a result, uh, I looked for royalty-free money, or whatever it's called. Songs that I can use without getting the video taken down, and uh, I found this one website called Audionautics. I forgot the gosh darn trick. Yeah, well. Anyways, Audionautics is uh, like they just have free music, and I'm gonna be using a different song for each level, and so on and so forth. Uh, I, I would recommend using them. I'm going to put a link in the description of where you can find them if you want to use their music. There's quite a few other, like, YouTubers. Like, the only one I can think of offhand is, like, Wacky Wednesday, which I never even watch. I only really watch, like, one video, but they use one of the songs that I'm using. Because I pre picked these songs. Well, the only problem is I can't figure out how to do the backflip, which is kind of pissing me off towards the end. But yeah, it's, it's almost August, and uh, I haven't done anything this summer with my YouTube channel, which is very unfortunate. Very unfortunate, indeed. Except for, you know, try this for three times and fail. In fact, like, so, you would think that because I'm not using the, the songs of this game, that, like, I shouldn't have any, like, technical difficulties, but... It turns out the Audacity, which uh, I've had technical difficulties with during my Kirby 64 Let's Play, that apparently Audacity likes to kill itself after 50 minutes of the recording, but there's like a 50% chance of that happening. So that's not very enjoyable, wishing for those odds, so I've been also looking for other replacement audio recording things, and I've been really thinking of GarageBand, like, if that's a... And I've been thinking of GarageBand since we used that in uh, my first multimedia class back in 10th grade. And I had no problems with that. And then... The rating systems. Yeah, okay. That's a shout out for Kevin. If he watches this, my friend. The rating systems podcast. No, but uh, GarageBand is... Uh, it's a pretty alright uh, like, uh, you know, recording program. It has like... You can make music on it. Not that I would ever do that because it's I suck at making music. I can make beats, but I can't put the beats together because they would just clash horribly. So that's that. And yeah, with GarageBand. I don't know. I I have it on my other laptop or not my other laptop, but my. Uh, I don't on my other computer and like my, my dinosaur one, what I which I will never use to record ever. It has uh, it has GarageBand and I'm like I want to transfer that over to my other computer, but I guess I'll just have to throw five dollars for it. You do the backflip. 
I'm honestly, like, very annoyed right now, because if I can't figure this backflip out by the end of the level, by, by the last, like, three levels, I'm fucked. Speaking of fucked, not that, I mean, this is more like a white girl problem, first world, mostly white girl first world, but I have to work seven days in a row after today, so I'm just recording a shit ton, because coincidentally, all of my family has plans in the cities, so I'm just home alone. And I'm like, dude, I'm gonna figure out my codec problem, like, once and for all. How do you do the gosh darn flip? Let me get the D-pad out, because the D-pad is, uh, well, too late. Oh my gosh, I didn't do anything this round. Okay, let's do this retry. Uh, towards the very end, I'm probably also gonna edit out, like, really failed attempts. If there's, like, nothing that I'm talking about. Or, like, I can keep my audio over it, maybe. Which probably won't work. But anyways, uh... Not another topic that I can talk about is E3, which happened, like, a month and a half ago. And, uh, for... So, I'm just gonna talk about Nintendo, because it wasn't exciting for anything, really. But I'm a Nintendo fan, so... That's where all of my talking will go towards. Let's see, that they started off with, uh, with, uh, what was the first game? Star Fox. So I don't, this is not planned ahead. I, my last recording, I did write down everything I want to talk about, because it's a 40-minute talk session. But that's just not working out. Okay, so Star Fox, we knew about that last year, but, you know, I'm, I'm pretty game for it. I never played a Star Fox game. So maybe this will be the first one I try out. And there's Amiibo support, and I'm an Amiibo collector, kind of, but... Uh, probably not gonna do that. Fox and Falco. I used to have a Fox, but I traded it. For, uh, like, to get a Meta Knight, and I had a Jigglypuff, and I traded Meta Knight and Jigglypuff to get a Rosalina. And then I found out, like, two weeks later that Rosalina was getting, a, like, a huge restock on Target.com. Bat 19. No, but uh, yeah, so Star Fox is like generic Star Fox. If I could just get the backflip! What the hell? Okay, I'm gonna just pause and look it up after this run. Yeah. So, uh, hold your horses. Okay, we're back. So, uh, I found out that the, the combo for the special move is actually up, down, right, which makes me look like an idiot since it's my fourth time doing this, but uh, hopefully everything will go smooth as butter. Yeah, so uh, let's, let's talk about the next E3 games, which, I mean, Nintendo, I don't remember the order, so uh, that's definitely a thing. I, but I think the next games were like Skylanders, and I don't give two shits about Skylanders. No one gives two shits about Skylanders, and they talked about them for like three or four minutes in the whole digital event. And I think the digital event was just like a not good use of time on Nintendo's part. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, that's just that's just what most opinions were of it. Yeah, see, that was the, like, the super backflip that I've been trying to do. Oh. Okay, I think your stats increase further into the game, so, like, with each tape you get. So, I could land that trick a lot easily towards, like, the very last level. I believe so. I think that's how it works. But, they don't really tell you about the stat increases. Yeah, okay, I'm totally banking on stat boost. Uh, so the next, I'm assuming, is the, the Zelda games. And, you know, I'm not too big on Zelda, but I might, I'm probably gonna give these games a chance. And the games were uh, Triforce Heroes, which is like a three-player dungeon game, like Four Swords was. 
And I love Four Swords, it's like my favorite Zelda game. Oh no. And... Okay, I got it. Yeah, so that's like, Four Swords is like my favorite Zelda game, I might give it a try, but I need to have... I don't want to play online with like, random people, I'd like... I hope the single player campaign, or story mode as I call it, I hope that's good, and that the, the, oh gosh, the, the multiplayer is alright. I feel, like, they say it's like the same as the story mode in, like, the three player mode, but I don't know. It doesn't seem like it. Yeah, but so we're doing a quick tournament level. And I'm done with that run. Yeah, now that I figured out the super backflip thing, it the tournaments are gonna be easiest high. And you'll have to do two it's like best two out of three uh, heats, I think they're called. Heat of Heat. So uh yeah, this should be pretty easy. For filler. Alright, and we're good. We pretty much just won the first of the three tournaments. And yeah, that's pretty much how they work, so end competition. Take my first medal, my gold. Not saving the career, I have to play this whole game in one run. So let's go on to the very next level, and this is kind of where the game starts to get difficult. I'd say after the next level, but this one is still... It's not... It's like it's... It's like level 2 of difficulty, but it's not like... But the next level is like the beginning of level 3. Even though there's only 6 levels. Okay, I don't remember this level too much, but... It's Minneapolis, which is where my whole family is right now, which is funny, because I'm home. Yeah. So we're gonna get Skate and uh, the signs, and I just jumped over. Great. Well, that's not too big of a problem, right? I hope so. And growing up as a kid, this level was really dark. I'm pretty sure it's still dark, but, like, jeez, it's, it's dark in Minneapolis. I've only gone to Minneapolis, like, a handful of times. Or just the, the cities, the Twin Cities. Uh, here's a, <laughs> a sad, yet kind of, it's a story. <laughs> Growing up, uh, when we heard about 9-11 in, like, kindergarten, well, I, you know, I was, 9-11 only happened when I was not even, like, two. But, so we have the Twin Cities, which is uh, St. Paul and Minneapolis. And I always thought that, like, the reason why 9-11 was, like, such an impact is that I thought it was the Twin Cities and not the Twin Towers. So, yep. <laughs> That's not funny. It, it really isn't, but, uh, I missed the tape also. So where's the last sign? Or did I get it? I, don't, I wasn't paying attention. Well, we're gonna find out now, I guess. Two tapes. Okay, cool. Yeah, so, uh, you yeah, know, I'm a very uh, misunderstood child. There you go. Story of my life. Watch out for the taxi there. He's, he always starts at the same area and has a cycle. A cycle of life. Okay, so we got the, the money tapes. Or not the money tapes. The, the score tapes and the, just the tape tape. And, okay, the other Zelda game. I mean, I talk about E3 still. The other Zelda game was Hyrule Warriors Legends. 
and I was really considering getting Hyrule Warriors on the on the Wii U, but I felt like it's not suited for me to play it on a Wii U. Just personal preference, so so I was hoping for like a 3DS version. Maybe I was well, actually I was just gonna skip it, but I'm just saying. Screwed up the whole run. There's a lot of lag up here too. So I'm focusing. I think I got it. Yep. So we just finished Minneapolis, so not that difficult. And we're about like 20 minutes into the session, so that's pretty on time, I'd say. Okay, so Hyrule Warriors Legend looks pretty good still. And then, I don't remember what the next game was, but we'll just talk about Metroid because that's a game that was listed. And I'm not a big fan of Metroid. I've tried Super Metroid and I tried Metroid Prime, but neither of them really stuck with me. I played maybe like 10 minutes of each. And I know people would say that the game gets better after a while, but it's just not my cup of tea. And I'm just gonna try. I already died there. Don't waste time. Yeah, I'm going for the score challenge first, not because, uh,. Well, not because I just screwed up the first run. So, you know, gotta, gotta keep going with that. Yeah, and so the Metroid Prime Federation Force, it still doesn't look like my my jam. My rhyming jam. And I, I'm really just not talking during these parts. See, we got the pro tape already. Let's just end the run before I try and go for the, the big, the random VHS, which is like one of the hardest tapes in the whole game. So, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm not really big into Metroid, so Federation Force didn't really uh, catch me. But apparently, it, the whole community got pissed off and was like, they made a petition to prevent the game from being made or some bullshit like that. And so, uh, that's pretty pathetic. I mean, I hate a lot of games that Nintendo comes out with that I, that I like the series for, but, uh, I wouldn't go out and say Nintendo should stop developing that game if it looks like complete like garbage. Uh, yes, first try, baby. Yeah, so, uh, you know, Metroid looks alright, and it has, like, a whole, it has another year of development, so I don't know why people are complaining, like, it's gonna be a good game, it's a Nintendo game, and then that leaves us off with, uh, I think Animal Crossing, uh, I enjoy playing Animal Crossing here and there, but, excuse me, wait, <laughs> yeah. excuse me, I'm keeping that in. <laughs> But, uh, so there was a new Animal Crossing party game, and a lot of people are saying it's either free, or you have to pay for it, or something, or you can pay to get a physical copy, but it's a free download. And it looks interesting. Uh, I, I don't know, like, I don't want to just get the Amiibo and not have a good game for them to be used on, so definitely gonna wait on that. Oh, shoot. Uh, get it. Nope. Yeah, this tea is annoying. And then there's all. Then they talked about that one, like, house making simulator game on the 3DS for Animal Crossing. And while it's a. It's a noble concept, I, I'm not interested in it. Unless Nintendo has a special 3DS edition that has the game bundled with it. That's the only way I'd buy it. 
And they've announced the special 3DS for, like, every other country but the U.S., which sucks because I want to get a 3DS XL, but they're not letting me get it because, mm -hmm. Nintendo, friend. No. Okay, then, then what do they talk about? I'm probably skipping something big, but, uh, then there's a, a bunch of the anime stuff. And, oh my god. Fuck. And I'm not a fan of the anime stuff, because, uh, I'm not a weeaboo, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a normal person. Okay, last try. Yes! Stay on the rail, stay on the rail, stay on the rail. Yeah! Okay. So we got this level finished, which is great. And, oh, it's really windy if I can hear through the fireplace. We got another tournament level, I think. Yeah. But now that I know the super backflip from Madu, not a problem. This level usually was like the biggest problem for me growing up with this game. Because it's just impossible to do good on it because there's no good locations to do tricks on. Except for this eyeball hole. And I'm not sure, but I think that when you fail to land a trick, that actually lowers your entire score down or something. I don't know. That would make sense in a real tournament setting, so I'm gonna go with that uh, hypothesis. Oh, jeez. And then the rest of E3 kind of sucked. Uh, there was like a price drop on the Xbox One. Rare Replay, which uh, even though I don't have an Xbox One yet, I'm gonna buy because collection games, and especially if it has Conker's Bad Fur Day, um, the price for that is gonna go up once like all the copies are sold out and whatnot. So I'd rather get the game now before I had to pay like fifty dollars for it because Conker's Bad Fur Day is like an eighty dollar game for the N64. But my sister has an Xbox, which I mentioned, like, on Twitter once. And it's gonna be... I'm, I'm gonna use it, because she uses my Xbox 360 quite a bit. I uh, don't really have a play, uh, reason to get a PlayStation 4 yet. Oh my god, get to the middle! Bruh! <clears throat> get that special meter up, please. Yeah, I don't really have a reason to buy a PlayStation 4 yet. I like I was pretty interested in Little Big Planet 3, or just any of the Little Big Planets, but apparently Little Big Planet 3 is like glitched or something. And I don't want to fuck with that yet, unless I know it's updated, which it probably it probably is updated, but I'm not gonna I kind of waste that yet. So we're gonna end the competition. We got gold one other time. Only one left until we become lords of skateboarding. And also, I think that not only with the stats going up, but you also unlock new skateboards with the VHS tapes. And so I'm just gonna like showcase uh, Jeff's skateboards at the very end. <coughs> because his very last one is my favorite. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna spoil it yet, but it's hilarious. Okay, I don't think I'm doing this the way I wanted to. So we're just gonna find the police cars right now because I... This level's really a clusterfuck, I'd say. Okay, so like at my job, there's like air conditioning and stuff, and apparently air conditioning makes your, like, it makes you more susceptible to getting sick or something like that, <clears throat> and so I've been living at work, kind of, not really, 
but I, yeah, I've just been at work a lot, and I'll be there a lot more. I think I kind of mentioned it, but I have worked seven days in a row, which, yeah, I said it was a white girl problem internally. Do I have a tape? I don't remember at all. Yeah, we're just gonna bank on that. No, I don't. Well, that was a waste of time. Okay, we're just gonna do this the normal way. Or the way I try to get the skate letters first. work. Yeah, so uh, I work at a store that you may have heard of called Kohl's, and it's alright. Uh, probably the biggest problem with me in the job is that you had to quote unquote solicit credit from customers, and I'm not about that life. So, but also it's just really difficult trying to do that, because I don't know, it's just like, uh, hey, you wanna go shopping here two more times than you normally do every year and get deals? It's like, yeah, it's a great card and all, but I don't know, I feel like if you wanted it, you'd have gotten it already. That's just me saying that, so. But, you know, I still have to sell the card or solicit it from potential customers. So, you know, I, gotta, I can't complain. That's part of the job, but it's not a fun part of the job. And yeah, this level's hard. I should keep adding on to saying that. It's not hard so much as it's, uh... It's a lot more difficult trying to assess where all of the, the items for these goals are. I should probably make sure my computers don't die, because they turn off after, like, five minutes. So I'm just about to get the letters for skate. I don't know. Just hurry up. Uh... No. Jeff, please. Okay. Okay, we lit. So, uh... Okay, and then the rest of E3 was like, Yo, she's Willy World and Super Mario Maker. And, you know, we already knew about those games, but I guess my opinion towards Super Mario Maker changed because uh, I'm going to get the game now. <laughs> I'm also going to get the Amiibo because, gosh darn, I just can't not buy Amiibo. And thankfully, with my job, I can buy Amiibo and an Xbox One and whatnot. Uh, okay, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go for the tape right now. The hidden tape. And it's very, uh, out of the way, and you only get, like, one, maybe two attempts per, per run. And so we get to climb up all these houses and jump. I don't know if they're... Oh, no! Fuck! Okay, well... I was being really, you know, not carrying that fun, so... No, that's alright. Wait, where is this even? Like, San Francisco? We're gonna escape from the city? Uh, yeah, okay, after this recording, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, blow my nose and maybe get some breakfast. Because I'm gonna be recording a crap ton of stuff. Because I need to make this summer worth it, and I also, like I said, my week of working, I'm not gonna have any time to record, but maybe edit. So... I guess it's time to unveil what my next Let's Play slash parentheses S parentheses, and it's gonna be uh, Super Mario 64. I think that's the next game I want to do. I played that game on my last channel, and it was pretty fun. And I did like a versus style kind of, where it was like half hours sessions. Uh, yeah. And so that's going to be my next Let's Play. I'm going to probably record a crap ton of episodes. But uh, based on uh, Audacity being a little shit, I'm going to do like 30 hour recording sessions and then just kind of edit them together. I'm not going to be like, oh, this is the end of the episode. I'm just going to cut it there. Well, I was going to do level select. I'm sorry that my sniffles are being <laughs> in the way. 
but there's only uh, only three more tapes to get, and they're all fairly easy except I screwed up the police car. But now I just have to do a bunch of super backflips. Literally, it's just super backflips to the very end. If I could just get a super backflip, yeah. Look at this. Look at this shit. Uh, am I gonna land it? Yeah. Also, rock air is a pretty good move if I could get that. Oh, oh no. I have a minute to get 3,000 points. I don't know, guys. Yeah, 187. Yeah, what sucks is that over time, your moves, or the tricks become less and less points. So, oh, uh, see, I could have finished it right there. So, like, if you fall, like, you're kind of fucked to get uh, more points back. What? Game. What am I doing wrong? Uh... Okay, we, we finished it. Okay. So, we got one tape left. Uh, I thought I could have stopped after the first tape in this level because you only need 26, I think. But, you know, we're 100% in the game with Jeff Crowley, the Brit, the bloody wanker. Not just gonna that. I am okay with Britain and London. I, I kind of want to go to London sometime when I, uh, molder, maybe. I'm too young to make this decision. Fact. Yeah, but, uh, you know, I can't wait for school next year because I actually have... Like, I've made it a goal to try and, uh, like, organize with my friends to, like, sign up for classes in the same trimesters as them. Excuse me. Uh, and so I got, I think that I'm going to have a lot of classes with them, so I'm hoping that's uh, what the school gives me. Where's the last police car? I'm taking a lot of cool classes, like environmental science, which is totally my cup of, my cup of tea. But I'm just doing it because uh, we get to go to uh, the, like the Minnesota Zoo at the very end of the year, and I have not gone to a zoo since like kindergarten. And you know, I I want to see some animals. I want to see like some okapis and whatever. Just you know, okapis are like dying. That's Disney World, friend. Okay, we're in the last level, guys, and because I got the super backflip, we're we we're gonna win. We lit. So let's just get that special bar up. Imagine this would be like five minutes quicker had I known how to do the super backflip. Oh, that's not a backflip. Now another another thing I've been into for like the past week is cringe compilations like just fellow humans being cringeworthy so let's just do uh, three more tricks so that's my first run see we're already gonna win we already won fuck you Andrew I would have picked Andrew myself. I only, I only like saying that because uh, in the later games I like using Eric Costin because I don't know why. Just, that's just the character I pick. And when you sometimes when you pick him, he says, "I would have picked Andrew myself." So let's do some more backflips to victory, and then we'll just be lords of skateboarding. Okay, just up, down. Oh my God, Jeff, friend. There we go. Oh no. It's a good thing they give three attempts for these. I'm just gonna end the run, not restart the competition. So right now I'm just in last now. <laughs> That's great. I mean, I like the Keck laugh. I've been doing that too. Because, I don't know, like recently I guess I have this app called iFunny, which I've had for like half a year now. But, oh my god, Brian. 
Oh no. I'm like, I can just, just laugh so hard that you start kecking. And it's like not a thing I do on purpose, it just happens. And then my sister caught on. She makes fun of me. Oh no. Oh no. Oh jeez. Okay, just get some backflips. Get backflips. Oh no. Fuck. Okay, well we're just gonna restart the competition. Then. Uh, let's, we're gonna show this real now. I'm just gonna keep kind of jumbling around because when Super Mario 64 records, I'm not gonna be able to uh, have a lot of conversations except for maybe the game. But, but that's just me. Oh, you know what I've been watching lately? I forgot to mention this. Uh, Survivor. That's a really great show. I always like kind of slept on it. And okay, well. that was a thing. No, but uh, yeah, Survivor. So I watched like the uh, like the last, the most three recent seasons, and it, I'm I like I knew about the show's existence, but I always just kind of slept on it. Oh come, gosh darn. Okay, well hopefully this one is good enough. Yeah, okay, well this is where uh, everything goes to shit. Because <laughs> during my last, during the recording session 2 and 3, okay, like the first session, I don't know how I beat this, like, second try, considering how high of a score you actually need to get. But, uh, yeah, like, you need to get a lot of points, and I'm not good at getting points. Rocket air, I'm sorry. Oh no. Okay, so I got 43,324 points in 18 seconds. I just need to get to like 50,000. That's really the goal in all of this, in the grand scheme of things. Oh, you know what? I had a story with Tony Hawk that I want to tell, and it's uh, it's uh, how I <laughs> when I first came across Tony Hawk. So, like, uh, my parents got the game for me, and it was I thought it was a phenomenal game as a as a kid in kindergarten, and so I played it a lot with my sister. We both thought the game was great, and I'm like, hey, I want to try the skateboarding thing in real life. And then, so I asked Santa for a skateboard, and Santa delivered. And then, because, you know, it's winter, I can't use the skateboard yet until it becomes, like, spring. Oh, no. Fuck. Gosh. Jeff. Friend. Okay, so I got the skateboard, and, uh, you know... I sucked at skateboarding, which is not a big surprise, for me at least. Oh, no. Yay, I screwed up again. <coughs> I got, the, oh, that was the third run. Okay, and then they're gonna show the credits and yada yada yada. Okay, I guess I'll show the, the skateboards here. So, yeah, see, my stats are super high now. Okay, let's just go through the skateboards. We got Punk Skull, Panic Attack, Magic Cat, White Trash, Bull, and Rocky! Yeah. Rocky's gonna bring us to the end. Let's go, Rocky. Okay, I'm gonna edit out uh, until I win, so, for my good attempts. So, keep that in mind. Oh no, wait, actually I didn't I didn't finish my story. I, yeah. No no edits yet, guys. Unless this is a good run. No, so like I got my skateboard and I sucked ass at it and I'm like, damn. And then I find out that all the, the trailer trash kids, they're like great at skateboarding. And it's like, uh, okay. Fuck, don't go up there, Jeff. Okay, so I'm just gonna finish this run and I'll just show the successful runs. So 
because I feel like this is going to be one of the better high scoring runs. And, okay, well, you know, for 40, 47,360 points isn't that bad. This is going to grind up. See? Everything's not that bad. See, we're, we're in first. Okay, we're going to show the next attempt. Hopefully this is the one. Oh, and uh, the other game I was thinking of Let's Playing is Pikmin 1. And uh, I like the Pikmin games. I, ha I own the first one and the third one, but the third one is really expensive, in my opinion. And so, uh, probably not going to buy that one soon. I mean, it's a $30 game, but still. Got to get my priorities straight. And the third game I haven't really played too much of, but... It's good so far, but yeah, the first Pikmin game is uh, really short, and <laughs> I, I'd play it. I, I'd probably do it like as a side project, like maybe just like one episode once a week. But you know, I, I would have fun. I would totally have fun with that. Okay, I, th I think we're lords of skateboarding, guys. I, I think the day has come that we are winners. Gold right there first. Yes, you see that? That's three gold medals. Signature move tutorial. Fuck that. We just up, down, right, C button. Thank you guys for watching this whole 100% Let's Play of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1. I hope you enjoyed it. There's going to be a lot more videos coming in the future now that I figured all my technical problems. So uh, stay tuned for that. You can subscribe if you want to see those videos, hopefully. And if you liked the video, feel free to give it a like. It helps the channel grow. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I just I'm glad that after four tries, hopefully this works out. So again, thank you.